In this lesson, we want to talk about using brushwork for two things, to suggest light and to suggest form. And that doesn't necessarily mean detail, although detail is, of course, part of brushwork, and we will talk about that. But the importance of brushwork is to show form and how I use the brush also to, to show light. So I think the important thing about brushwork isn't how to apply detail, but how you simplify. So when we look at paintings of, this is a painting by William Wint, what's important about this, he applies paint here in the direction the form goes, which is important. And the dark's a little bit thinner. Generally the dark's being first or scrubbed in slightly thinner, but thick enough that you can paint back into them. So he's using brush strokes that are maybe short vertical strokes. They emphasize the upright of the tree or the upright of the side of the house here. Uh, anything vertical, you want brush strokes that show that verticalness more than anything else. And that's thinner, and that, that's what sets up the form in vertical shapes, is that vertical brush stroke. Then the lights will follow the form. In other words, the lights are thicker, they're going to emphasize more of what the light's doing, so the brush strokes then will be this way. You know, maybe some will be vertical where it becomes vertical, but short, choppy, slanted strokes, and a variety of strokes works better. You can see how it just follows the form, and he sets up everything that way. If you've got a slanted hill right here, the brush strokes are a little longer and slanted. Again, they follow that form of the of the hill and they're also thicker when it's lighter. If it's a, a dark hill it's going to be a little bit thinner but same thing here with the roof. And in one area like in this roof I might have some slanted strokes because this is a slanted roof. Going that way I might turn some that way. I want to emphasize all the different directions that it's going. And you have to do it with confidence. Brush work, whether you have confidence or not, you, you have to at least say you have it because that always looks better. If I'm confident in my brush strokes, it's going to work better. We get away from the idea of, of shape and, and suggesting the light as the most important thing. And detail is always the default. If we're not sure what to do, we default to detail. And that's when we start doing brush strokes that kind of tear apart the shape and the light. So that if I'm not sure what to do, then I'm going to start dabbing. You know, picking up the brush every dab, and I end up with something like this. Of course, I'm just using red so it stands out. But that just kills the color. Kills the light, and especially the form. So instead of dabbing, I want to show, even on a somewhat cloudy day like this, these trees aren't really in sunlight, but I still want to have brush strokes that follow the form. And a variety of, of maybe longer strokes, shorter strokes, but that emphasizes the shape a lot better. And then the darks will be more vertical. And these trees don't have a lot of strong dark and light on them. They're a little bit more towards the half tone, which we always talk about staying away from. But even still, when I'm painting this, I want to force a shape in there. So I'm seeing a dark side, which isn't real dark, but still, any kind of shape in there has to have value changes. So there's my dark there. And you want to force some in, maybe where it's not, or at least where you don't see it. Like this area here, I don't see a shadow on that clump of leaves. But I know it has to be somewhat like that, and the rest is in sunlight. But if I can force a shape in there using brush strokes that follow the shape, or in case of the darks, or more vertical, sometimes they can be short, choppy, horizontal to show the dark. But they're not following the form as much. It's those light areas that, that follow the form. Same thing with this tree. I'm going to go with a dark yellow. When I look at this tree, I see the vertical shadow shape or dark part of the tree there. Then in the light area, and this would be with thicker paint, and then follow the form. And that's what the brush work is going to give me. What I want to stay away from is dabbing at it with the brush uh, to show detail. Now towards the end, after getting it broken up the right value, I might come with a smaller brush 
brush stroke and break up the darks with a little bit of light and then break up the lights you know with a few darks that's kind of the the idea behind the brush strokes showing form and then light thicker in the light areas following the form and make sure you reload your brush every time if i'm painting the lights on this tree right in right here i'm following the form i'm getting the paint thicker and i want to make sure the brush stroke always has a lot of paint in it maybe two maybe three strokes after turning the brush over and then reload again sometimes cleaning the brush off depending on how much wet thick paint is around the tree because you can pick up colors around the tree and it really kills the color of the, or the sense of light in the tree so paint the thicker paint stays cleaner if it's thin it's 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 going to pick up too much around it and thin paint doesn't make any impact it doesn't uh, look as light as it is where thicker paint stands out more because of its thickness and just makes a better statement and the same thing with the hills in here. I can see a definite dark shape, but the key is to simplify it in this area. So when I see that, I may not be this dark, or I might go that dark, but I want to see a shape of dark in there, somewhat like that. Come up with a shape that looks more interesting, and I would do that instead of just picky little darks and leave a lot of light in there. Look for bigger shapes because they have a bigger impact on the form as well as the sense of light. And same thing with light areas. Again, the darks here, I could do kind of vertically slanted, or I could just put them in like this. Just anything to establish them as a slanted, I could follow the form. But the lights, I would definitely follow the form. I might chop it in different directions, but I want to show that form. One more photograph here. This is as kind of an example. Some photographs are, are easy to think through the brushwork. Uh, this one's fairly easy. The one before was not. The horseshoe, the light's not as direct, and it's harder to, to really see light direction. But I can see shape, and I know which way the light's coming from, and I can simplify and um, emphasize the shape or the shadow pattern a lot more than there. Now here, the light's a lot stronger, it's a little more definite, but I still want to simplify that, those shapes, to real definite shapes to make it stand up and look solid. Similarly to what William Wendt did here, he oversimplified the shape of the shadows and the light to make the tree read better. And we tend to not do that. We tend to see more of the detail, the little subtleties in the shadow, subtleties in the light, which moves us towards the middle value and also moves us towards detail where we want to see it like that. The vertical upright strokes and I want the darks big enough and simple enough that it makes the tree stand up. In the photograph I see the light wrapping around a little more but I want to keep the darks bigger. It's, it's backlit so the shadows are bigger than if the sun was coming from the front. So I want to emphasize that backlighting by getting shapes that are more predominant than what the photograph shows or if I'm outside painting more pre predominant than what I see because the goal is to simplify and, and show the shape. Mm -hmm.